Hey guys, in this video, we are going to convert this quadratic equation from standard form to vertex form. So first of all, let's look and see what vertex form looks like, okay? We want our equation to look like this. The y and x will stay a y and an x, and we want numbers where a, h, and k are, right? But we need to figure out what those numbers are using this equation, okay? So to get here, what I am going to do, we want a parentheses squared, right? So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is complete the square. Now I'm gonna do it here for you, but if you find you need um, it explained in a little bit more depth, I will link a video in the corner for you, okay? But the first thing I do in completing the square is I wanna get all my x's on one side with nothing else, okay? So basically, I don't want this plus nine there. So I'm gonna subtract nine from both sides, okay? Now, once I do that, I'm gonna have y minus nine equals x squared minus four x. Okay, all my x's are on one side, we're feeling good, okay? Now, I wanna know what number I can add or subtract here that will make this factor to a parenthesis squared, okay? How do I figure out what that number is? Well, someone smarter than me figured out if we take b, divide it by two and square it, that number will be very helpful, okay? Now, if you're like, there are zero b's on that paper, lady, guess what? b is actually up here. So when I'm in standard form, the number in front of the x squared, which in this case, it's a one, you don't see it, but it's there, is a. The number in front of my x is b, and the number being added or subtracted on the back is c, okay? So in this case, b is negative four. So I'm gonna take negative four, divide it by two and square it, okay? Negative four divided by two gives me negative two. When I square that, I get a positive four, okay? So I believe this, I don't wanna call it a magic number, but it kind of is. I'm going to add four to both sides and we're gonna see how, how things factor now, okay? I can add whatever I want as long as I add it to both sides, right? So I'm just picking a number that will help me, okay? So here we have, we're just simplifying this down. So I'm gonna have y, negative nine plus four gives me a negative five. So I've got y minus five on that side equals x squared minus four x plus four. None of those can combine because they're not like terms, right? Okay, now my next step is to factor this side, okay? Since I know I'm completing the square, I know this is gonna factor to, okay, over here we've still got the y minus five, this is gonna factor to x minus two times x minus two, okay? And if you wanna go ahead and do it the old fashioned way and factor it, this is what you'll get, okay? You'll get that x minus two times x minus two. So I can write that, since they're the same, as x minus two squared, right? Which, isn't that what we wanted? We wanted parentheses squared. Okay, so I am getting very close to this vertex form, which is my goal, right? But you'll notice in vertex form, y is by itself. So I need to get y by itself. So to do that, I am going to add five to both sides, okay? So I end up with y equals x minus two squared plus five. And would you look at that? That is the vertex form of this equation, okay? They look a little different, but they are the same equation. If you were to graph both of these, it'd be the same graph, okay? So there is my vertex form. Now, if you're like, there's no A, it's actually a one, just like there was an invisible one up here, there's an invisible one right there, okay? So you will learn in the future how to then graph from this equation. I'm not gonna do that now, but I will link a video for you in the corner where I show how we graph this, okay? Hopefully this made sense. We started with a quadratic equation in standard form. We completed the square to get it to vertex form, okay? Hopefully this made sense. Thanks, bye.